Hello and you're watching the History Fella channel. In this video we're looking at Dwight David Eisenhower. Born David Dwight Eisenhower on October the 14th 1890 and would die on March the 28th 1969. Nicknamed Ike, Eisenhower was an American military officer and statesman who served as the 34th President of the United States from 1953 to 1961. During World War II, he served as Supreme Commander of the Allied Expeditionary Force in Europe and achieved the five-star rank as General of the Army. Eisenhower planned and supervised two of the most consequential military campaigns of World War II, Operation Torch, in the North Africa campaign in 42 and 43, and the D-Day invasion of Normandy in 1944. Eisenhower was born into a large family of mostly Pennsylvania Dutch ancestry in Denison, Texas, and he was raised in Abilene, Kansas. His family had a strong religious background and his mother became a Jehovah's Witness. Eisenhower, however, belonged to a non-organised church until 1952. He graduated from West Point in 1915 and later married Mammy Dowd, with whom he had two sons. During World War I, he was denied a request to serve in Europe and instead commanded a unit that trained tank crews. Following the war, he served under various generals and was promoted to the rank of Brigadier General in 1941. After the United States entered World War II, Eisenhower oversaw the invasions of North Africa and Sicily before supervising the invasions of France and Germany. After the war ended in Europe, he served as military governor of the American-occupied zone of Germany in 1945. He was also Army Chief of Staff from 45 to 48. He was then President of Columbia University from 1948 to 1953 and as the first Supreme Commander of NATO, he was also the last President to have been born in the 19th century. In 1952, Eisenhower entered the presidential race as a Republican to block the isolationist foreign policies of Senator Robert A. Taft, who opposed NATO and wanted no foreign entanglements. Eisenhower won that election and the 1956 election in landslides, both times defeating Adlai Stevenson II. Eisenhower's main goals in office were to contain the spread of communism and reduce federal deficits. In 53, he considered using nuclear weapons to end the Korean War and may, and may have threatened China with nuclear attack if an armistice was not reached quickly. China did agree and an armistice resulted, which remains in effect. His new look policy of nuclear deterrence prioritised inexpensive nuclear weapons whilst reducing funding for expensive army divisions. He continued Harry S. Truman's policy of recognising Taiwan as the legitimate government of China, and he won congressional approval of the Formosa Resolution. His administration provided major aid to help the French fight off Vietnamese communists in the First Indochina War. After the French left, he gave strong financial support to the new state of South Vietnam. He supported regime changing military coups in Iran and Guatemala, orchestrated by his own administration. During the Suez crisis of 1956, he condemned the Israeli, British and French invasion of Egypt, and he forced them to withdraw. He also condemned the Soviet invasion during the Hungarian Revolution of 1956, but took no action. He deployed 15,000 soldiers 
during the 1958 Lebanon crisis. And near the end of his term, a summit meeting with the Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev was cancelled when a US spy plane was shot down over the Soviet Union. Eisenhower approved the Bay of Pigs invasion, which was left to John F. Kennedy to carry out. On the domestic front, Eisenhower governed as a moderate conservative who continued New Deal agencies and expanded social security. He covertly opposed Joseph McCarthy and contributed to the end of McCarthyism by openly invoking executive privilege. He signed the Civil Rights Act of 1957 and sent army troops to enforce federal court orders which integrated schools in Little Rock, Arkansas. His administration undertook the development of the construction of the interstate highway system, which remains the largest construction of roadways in American history. And in 1957, following the Soviet launch of Sputnik, Eisenhower led the American response, which included the creation of NASA and the establishment of a stronger science-based education via the National Defence Education Act. Following the establishment of NASA, the Soviet Union began to reinforce their own space programme, escalating the space race. His two terms saw unprecedented economic prosperity, except for a minor recession in 1958. In his farewell address to the nation, he expressed his concerns about the dangers of massive military spending particularly deficit spending, and the government contracts to private military manufacturers, which he dubbed the military-industrial complex. Historical evaluations of his presidency place him among the upper tier of American presidents.